Hello again, everyone. Chromatic Photo 4 here. Today we're going to be reviewing Fat 2 by SoundSpot, the sequel to their original free filter plugin that you could download that only had three controls, a cutoff, a resonance, and the ability to switch it from low pass or to high pass. As the name implied, that initial plugin actually had a pretty fat sound to it. It was pleasant to listen to. So they decided to make another one, except they added a lot more stuff to it than just those three controls. You still have the basic two original ones, you know, cut off and resonance, as you'd expect in a filter. You still have your filter right here, the basic low pass. If I click on it, I suddenly get 20 different filters that I can choose from. Five high passes, low passes, and band passes apiece, and also five effects filters that sort of fuse the low pass and high pass together in different ways to come up with neat little effects, in case you couldn't tell. So... Just starting off with a basic low pass, just going to twiddle some of the controls while playing a little beat in the background so you can kind of hear what's happening with everything. So one thing that I immediately noticed when using this plugin is that turning the resonance all the way up did not slaughter my eardrums. So for me, that was actually a really nice thing. It adds a lot of sonic character to the filter when you increase the resonance without destroying your hearing. So it's not horrendously jarring. Different filters on here, some, some are a little more jarring than others, but the resonance control is just a lot nicer sounding than a lot of other filters I've worked with. Moving on, like we looked at the basic low pass. Notice how there's like a bunch of these other ones that have all these weird little shapes on them. If I go into this low pass, let's see what happens listening to this one. Okay, so that one you could hear has a lot more character to it, a lot more going on. On my end, I hear a little bit of a, a little bit of a nice kind of saturation style clipping happening. I don't know if you're able to hear that through the recording or not yet, but for me, I find that to be a very pleasant effect. It feels like it kind of fattens up the low end as the filter is dropping down without, without making it too harsh either. So if I go into a high pass, same concept, basic high pass filter. Click on the thing and go to a different high pass, like let's just try, I don't know, high pass number five and see what it does. So you can see that these different filters do have their own their own unique timbre. They they each produce their own style of sound effect. The really fun ones are like the effects filters down at the bottom that again fuse a low pass with a high pass with, by putting a notch in the middle. So if I just go to the basic one and play it, you'll hear some interesting things as I twiddle the knob. So that's a fun way to get a lot of neat little effects out of just a basic filter. You can also uh, increase the slope of the filter cutoff from 12 dB all the way up to 48, which is pretty sharp. Make all those different effects significantly more pronounced, even with a basic low pass.
versus the normal 12 dB one. So, already to me, this plugin shines in a lot of different ways. What makes it even better is it has its own modulation engine. So if I click on that, I can modulate the filter cutoff and the resonance separately. So for me, I don't see much reason to modulate the resonance, but that's, that's me. I mostly would modulate the filter. So if I were to just go ahead and play this now... So you can double click to add a new point, drag it anywhere you want. If you want it to sort of grid lock, you can actually click on this little icon here to lock it to the grid. This is a feature that I've that I was complaining about SoundSpot not having in some of their other plugins before this one, so that they added it. I am quite pleased with that. So that makes it so you can do a lot more fun stuff with it. There's a smooth section to smooth how sharp the envelope is. There is a section to increase the speed at which it travels. So right now we're set to one bar. We set it to a quarter. So you can set it all the way down to one thirty second up to 32 bars for the LFO, which is also a nice feature. You can switch it from straight note to doing something of a triplet to doing something of a dotted note by just clicking on these little dots right here, change the timing of the LFO itself. So, I mean, <clears throat> you can even see the modulation working right now, even though nothing else is happening, no sounds going through it. Disable that right now. It's a simple plugin, but it's one that I personally really enjoy. If I need a quick and easy filter that does exactly what I need, then boom, there it is. I just like as well all the features that it comes with, the fact that the resonance does not kill my hearing, that it doesn't hurt my ears too much to listen to. The fact that modulation is in there just saves you from having to set up complex automation for different things, unless you want to do that get even more control over an already pretty powerful little plugin. So for me, this is one that I can pretty easily recommend that you purchase if you're curious about it. Especially if you haven't delved much into other filters outside of your stock DAW filters and the like. Give you a little bit more experimentation. So highly recommend this plugin. Go ahead and give it a try.